Hey guys, today we're gonna make something that looks so stunning, but is really easy to make and it's perfect to make on special occasions. Usually, this is a brunch item, but I've been known to make it for dinner too because it's so good. We're gonna be making a pear Dutch baby, which is a puffed pancake. And it almost reminds me of a thick crepe it's crisp on the outside, really puffy, really beautiful, and kind of custardy on the inside. I love that this recipe uses very simple ingredients that you probably have in the house right now. So we just need some all-purpose flour, some salt, sugar, eggs, and half and half for the batter. Then for the fruit portion, we're using pears, but you can also use apples. They work so well in this recipe. And we're gonna need some butter, brown sugar, lemon juice, and vanilla for that. But we're gonna set those aside because we'll get to them in a minute. First, we're gonna make the batter. Instead of using a bowl, I'm gonna mix the batter in a large measuring cup and you'll see why in a minute. So I just add all of the ingredients in here, mix it up and that's it. It's so easy. It's really important to start with room temperature eggs and half and half. So take those out ahead of time. And also I have my oven preheated to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't remember to take the eggs out ahead of time, you can put them in a bowl with warm water and they'll be room temperature in just a few minutes. I start with mixing the eggs first and mix them up smoothly before I add the rest of the ingredients and then we'll add everything else in. Mix the eggs until they're very smooth and kind of foamy on top like that. And then you're gonna add in the rest of your ingredients. So the half and half. We're gonna add a little bit of sugar, just a, a tablespoon. A pinch of salt. Mix that up. And lastly, the flour. We're just gonna mix that in, incorporate it until there's no lumps left. Also just mix it in. At first you'll see lumps, but just use some muscles and get them all out. We want this batter to be nice and smooth. And it's gonna look pretty thin, that's what you want, because remember, we're gonna pour it in. You can also mix this either in a blender or use a mixer. This is just so much faster and I have less dishes to wash, so I prefer this way. But you can do it whatever way you want to. So there you go. You can see that it's mixed smoothly. There's little bubbles on top. That's exactly what you want. And we're gonna set the batter aside while we are working with the pears. Next, I'm gonna start working on these pears and I'm just going to peel them and slice them. The best pears to use are ones that are perfectly ripe so they're not too hard and they're also not falling apart. I'm gonna cook the Dutch baby in a skillet and you need to use either a cast iron skillet or a nonstick skillet that's safe to go into the oven. Now make sure that it can go in the oven otherwise you're gonna have to use a different skillet. Or you can also put it in a pie plate or a baking dish, that'll work as well. But this is the best presentation, it's so pretty this way and melt some butter. And then we're going to add in the pears and the sugar. And we're basically gonna cook the pears until they get nice and soft, but we don't want them to fall apart. So don't cook them too long, just enough so they get nice and soft. Now that the butter is all melted, I'm gonna add the pears and sprinkle in the sugar. And the butter and the sugar are gonna melt, they're gonna dissolve, and they're gonna form a nice sauce that's gonna taste like caramel. It's gonna be perfect, perfect to go with the Dutch baby. The puffed pancake. All right, pears are ready. So lastly, I'm gonna add some lemon juice and vanilla. Just squeeze in some lemon juice about from half of a lemon and then add some vanilla extract 
mix that together and then we're gonna add the batter. This is where using this measuring cup comes in really handy because the spout is perfect for distributing the batter. Just like this, get it all over top. It's already bubbling. And now we're just gonna get it into the oven. And I reduced the temperature to 425 degrees. At first, when I was preheating it, I preheated it to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and now I reduced it to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's gonna have a really big blast of heat, and we're gonna get it into the oven. I'm gonna get that in for 15 minutes and then we'll see, it might need a couple extra minutes or not, but usually 15 minutes is about right. This is really cool when you have guests over or if you have kids, they love this because you can take it out and show the beautiful creation if people wanna put it on their Instagram. This is the perfect moment when everybody gets their phones out and they wanna take a picture or a video. You see how it popped up around the sides? That is perfect. I like to bring the skillet right to the table, serve it like this, and either sprinkle some powdered sugar on top or serve a sauce, but honestly, I don't think it needs it because the juicy pears, the lemon juice, and the melted butter and sugar make a really awesome sauce that really reminds me of caramel, so you don't really need anything else to go with it. I think it's perfect just the way it is, and the lemon juice gives it a little brightness, a little acidity and the Dutch baby itself is like a really thick pancake or crepe. So delicious, custardy, a little crisp and golden around the edges. You're gonna love this. You can find the recipe at Olga's Flavor Factory with all the ingredient amounts, all of the details, and next time you wanna have brunch at your house, you know what you can make.